And uh, for more on this, we are being joined right now by Mr. D.P. Singh. He's the Deputy Managing Director and Joint CEO, SPI Mutual Funds, and he joins us live from Mumbai. Welcome to the broadcast, uh, Mr. Singh. And my first question is, now, what is your outlook Thank for you. money flowing into India? See, I am very, very bullish on this. And uh, the uh, moment we are talking to the foreign investors, uh, NRIs, as well as FPIs and FDIs, they are very, very bullish on India. And uh, rightly so, because of the growth trajectory, which is likely to be there in the next decade. Of course, there are sometimes it's being talked that, that the valuations are stretched, so on and so forth. But at the same time, there's a Tina factor and uh, see people are factoring the growth. The growth which is likely to come in India is, is something which which is attracting lot number of investors and a uh, lot number of my, amount of money which is flowing in and will continue to flow in. And that's evident from the fact the numbers which we have seen for the month of uh, December also, the data for which has come. So, so people are putting in money and the best part is that there's no uh, demand supply kind of a gap because a lot of IPOs are also coming and a lot of uh, uh, new corporates are entering into into the into the public space. So that's another uh, good story uh, for for all of us to to watch. And Mr. Singh, uh, what is the outlook for Indian markets and mutual funds? See, Indian markets, uh, see, mutual funds uh, and Indian market, they are two uh, separate things. Indian market is the same uh, as I talked about, uh, that that um, markets definitely at this point of time, valuations look little uh, stretched when we look at the macro number. But there are still a lot of stories which are yet to unfold. There are a lot of stocks which are still at very, very fair values. And, and uh, see, the investment managers, the portfolio managers are looking into those stories and getting the money into those stocks. It's not that now all is going into one stock. Uh, that's the reason why mid caps and small caps and the people, uh, the, the stocks which have not been in favor are uh, getting into favor because people are researching a lot more companies than ever before. So that's the reason and I think the outlook is, is very, very good uh, for, for the businesses. Uh, when we talk about the certainty on the political side, uh, see, one thing is very clear. Uh, the small percentage of uh, uh, see uncertainty which is there, uh, even if that rectifies, the business are, businesses are in very, very good uh, health, very pink of their health. And, and the see, political will, the politics and uh, 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 the economics go, don't go always hand in hand. These are independent businesses are in, in pink of health. And I don't uh, uh, think that even if there's a small percentage of uncertainty, even if that rectifies, the the the, you know, the the markets may have some uh, short term hiccups, but but eventually the businesses will take over, and and, and uh, we are going to have a very good run. Yeah. And do you think that the bets on uh, India are justified? Uh, yes, it is. It is justified because. Uh, because of the uh, reasons of the growth trajectory, uh, people don't, one year is not a unit, one quarter or uh, two quarters is not a unit of uh, how the markets look at it. They look at 10 years, 20 years growth trajectory of the country. And I think we are in the best of the era. All the reforms which have been, uh, which have taken place during the last five, 10 years, those are going to show the results now. And these are going to come in next one or two decades. And uh, the reforms are, are going to happen unabated. More and more reforms will come. And with the kind of geography, the kind of uh, the diversity and the kind of uh, see, 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 the overall uh, basic country is, I think we will have a very, very good run in the coming one or two decades. Hmm. And where do you see the best opportunity, you know, if one were to choose the best for investments in India? See, today, uh, see, when you're talking about uh, the way where to invest more, uh, see, one is the public space, uh, one is the private space. The public space is, is definitely, as I said earlier, uh, lots of, of uh, businesses, small businesses, mid-sized businesses, SMEs, they are coming into public space. And that is where the investments can happen and can get very good valuation. And in the private space also, if you look at the AAF number, PMS numbers, those are attracting a lot of money. 
And the best thing is that there's a lot number of portfolio managers in the country today who are are researching many many more companies than ever before. I, I see in my own company we are going uh, uh, all across the country, every nook and corner, looking at the businesses, talking to the management, researching them, and uh, hand holding them to come into the public space because mutual funds are. Mostly, when when we want that Indians should participate in the growth trajectory, then we have to bring the businesses into the public space. That that's what we feel as a leader in the country. That is our responsibility, and uh, we owe this to the to the countrymen that we make them participate in the growth trajectory. That is on the part of Indians uh, when they are looking at it. The, the the foreign money which we are attracting is definitely coming into the space where where it is already there where there's a track record that's another bucket where we are working very very hard and the whole industry is working very hard to get more and more number of people into into the, uh, this industry nor if not through mutual fund route but definitely through AF route and uh, the, the the PMS route and I think that the gift city opportunities which are opening up. Uh, will be a blessing in disguise for all of us in in, in the uh, in the in the economic world. Yes, and Mr. Singh, we've already talked about the growing popularity of mutual funds. Uh, but what categories could NRIs uh, invest for the long term? You did touch upon that briefly. Could you delve into it a little more deeply? Yeah. See, if you uh, think about the NRIs and the psyche of NRIs, one, they are they are very bullish on India. Two, they are not into the trading mindset. They are busy in their own sphere. So generally, they have a tendency that that they uh, want to fire and forget, shut it, forget it kind of thing. And when they have the 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 this complete confidence on India, India and India story, then they they are coming. I think the people who can uh, see participate in the, in the in the equity space and who have the risk appetite, and most of them have. So they, they should get into a fund which is logged in. So so we, uh, the industry is positioning funds. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have too many uh, uh, close-ended funds in the in the in the industry uh, because over the period of time, over the last one or two decades, we have sold liquidity more than required. So the illiquidity is something which which is to be sold to NRIs because they also don't have the capacity to watch it day in and day out. So the close-ended funds like uh, long-term equity funds where the lock-in is there and there are uh, there are funds, uh, those, those could be in ELSS category because by statute uh, you have to have three-year kind of lock-in. But those are best suited who want to be into the, the, the equity category. And on the other side, I, if they want to play uh, the... the, uh, the asset allocation route, uh, if they're putting a lot of money in data also, I think the hybrid funds like multi-asset allocation or balance advantage funds are the best for them and uh, they, they can definitely put in money, get the uh, tax advantage and most of the countries now, we have the double tax TT as well. So these are very tax efficient and these kind of funds. In equity side, most of the NRIs actually want that they should lock in and the, for the lock in thing that the, the, the ELS funds kind of category suits them because this I'm seeing, uh, I'm saying out of the experience. Though ELSS funds are there where, where you can put money for tax saving up to 150000 but those are very, very well positioned to get big ticket business also of, uh, of the people who are coming and uh, locking in money. And uh, on, the, on, the, on the security side, I think uh, these kind of uh, see diversified funds uh, through ELSS funds route and, and the, uh, the hybrid funds like balance advantage fund and multi-asset allocation fund are the best for them. All right, Mr. Singh, and uh, talking about global flow down, like, now how is India going to navigate uh, through it, in your opinion? See, as is always said, India has two things. One, very, very robust domestic economy, and then, then the export orientation. When the uh, countries are slowing down, and uh, uh, but, but at the same time, if you look at US, look at Germany, even today Germany's number, the inflation number has come at 3.8%. So that that's something which 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 is uh, being seen. It's not that everything is a cycle. We can hope 
that that uh, the, the things improve uh, uh, across the globe and and the the export uh, oriented uh, corporates will definitely get benefited once that happens today the the disadvantage is that the, the because of the slowing economy our uh, companies were export oriented they are facing a uh, little, uh, little uh, but but the domestic uh, economy is thriving the overall uh, um, uh, the story is 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 good but but uh, yes, this is a uh, cyclical thing. As of now, it is looking bad, but but we are hopeful that a uh, U.S. economy and European economy will also come out of it. The uh, U.S. has also seen some. Uh, U.S. has already seen some uh, green shoots, and and the numbers which are coming from uh, select European economies are also uh, showing signs of improvement. Well, thank you, Mr. Singh, uh, for staying with us and giving us the detailed insight into the questions. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you.